Narrated by Jabir bin Abdullah. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Did you get Enmet? I said, O oh Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. From where can we have Enmet? The Prophet peace be upon him said, Soon you will have them, Enmet. Narrated by Aisha. That she prepared a lady for a man from the Ansar as his bride and the Prophet said, O oh Aisha. Haven't you got any amusement, during the marriage ceremony, as the Ansar like amusement? Narrated by Anas bin Malik, whenever the Prophet peace be upon him passed by, my mother Umm Sulaim, he used to enter her and greet her. Anas further said, once the Prophet peace be upon him weigh a bridegroom during his marriage with Zainab, Umm Sulaim said to me, let us give a gift to Allah's messenger peace be upon him. I said to her, do it. So she prepared hysa, a sweet dish, made from dates, butter and dried yogurt and she sent it with me to him. I took it to him and he said, put it down, and ordered me to call some men whom he named, and to invite whomever I would meet. I did what he ordered me to do, and when I returned, I found the house crowded with people and saw the Prophet peace be upon him keeping his hand over the Hisa and saying over it whatever Allah wished him to say. Then he called the men in batches of ten to eat of it, and he said to them, Mention the name of Allah, and each man should eat of the dish the nearest to him. When all of them had finished their meals, some of them left and a few remained there talking, over which I felt unhappy. Then the Prophet peace be upon him went out towards the dwelling places of his wives, and I too, went out after him and told him that those people had left. Then he returned and entered his dwelling place and let the curtains fall while I was in his dwelling place, and he was reciting the verses, O oh you who believe! Enter not the Prophet's house until leave is given you for a meal, and then, not as early as, to what for its preparation. But when you are invited, enter, and when you have taken your meals, disperse without sitting for a talk. Verily such, behavior, annoys the Prophet, and he would be shy of asking you, to go, but Allah is not shy of telling you the truth. Surah 33 verse 53 Abu Uthman said, Anas said, I served the Prophet for ten years. Narrated by Aisha that she borrowed a necklace from Ozma and then it got lost. So Allah's messenger peace be upon him sent some people from his companions in search of it. In the meantime the stated time for the prayer became due and they offered their prayer without ablution. When they came to the Prophet, they complained about it to him, so the verse regarding Tayyamim was revealed. Ozad bin Hudair said, O Aisha! May Allah bless you with a good reward, for by Allah, never did a difficulty happen in connection with you, but Allah made an escape from it for you, and brought Allah's blessings for the Muslims. Narrated by Ibn Abbas The Prophet peace be upon him said, If any one of you, when having sexual intercourse with his wife, says, Bismillah, Allah hama janibnish shaitan wa janibish shaitan mare zaktana, and if it is destined that they should have a child, then Satan will never be able to harm him. 